Good evening once again. Um, it's no secret that um, Chairperson uh, Sanchez uh, is interested in bringing uh, fluoride in the water again. And um, I uh, think uh, after the third, I'm sorry, after the second time, that's really pushing the envelope. But um, I um, think that that's going to happen. I um, have a um, Freedom of Information Act request slash uh, Public Information Act um, request I'd like to give the uh, Secretary of Freedom of Information to be stamped in. And then also I have um, two um, information items on um, reasons that uh, fluoride should not be put in the water. I find it really interesting that considering that um, most um, the city of uh, Saskatoon and SIP are not exactly uh, rolling in money, but um, this would be something that would get the um, party. Uh, Fluoride has been defeated two times in the past, starting in uh, February of uh, starting May 1st of 1997. And uh, to bring it back a third time, this is ludicrous in my mind. Um, one of the um, information sheets that I will give the clerk um, states that um, this um, bag surgeon um, um, had a father that was one of the people that uh, used to come in with fluoride in the days. And she's against fluoride. And my question is, what kind of uh, knowledge does anybody on this board have about fluoride? I don't recall anybody having a medical degree. And I, I think it's really something that um, we're going to be subject to uh, get a medication and the public doesn't really have to send them if you guys approve it. And, uh, that's really sad in the face of the I really think this should, should stop right now and should proceed in order. And I, I hope that you guys would have something to do with that. I'm going to go along with others, whatever it takes to make sure that this doesn't happen. And I think that there are a lot of more constructive things that can be done, but we're seeing it on the slide, but that's where you guys want to go. And so, um, and um, the other thing I want to say is that um, we have 10 days to come up with an answer to the uh, information request. We do need um, more time you can have 14 days. And that's what the goal is. So uh, I don't know if maybe we'll let you get that person. So uh, if you need to see that as a report, you can get that as a corporation. Next speaker is Matt DiMartillo. Good evening. My name is Matt DiMartillo. I'm a resident of Sassoon. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, much like George, um, I urge you guys to think twice about poisoning the water in here in Sassoon that you all and your children and grandchildren and my children uh, have, to, have to live with. Um, I'd like to ask each and every one of you, um, are any of you licensed to practice medicine in the state of California? I'm not, so I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't make that kind of a decision, but I, I would like to hand out to you guys um, an email. Since my time is short, I'll let you guys read this on your own time. Thank you. Could I bring those up, please? What it is, it's, uh, it's information um, about fluoride and the dangers of fluoride uh, when, when ingested. Um, and on the top, you're going to see an email that comes from uh, Mr. Pete Sanchez 
uh, to the gentleman that's handing out these uh, packets to you right now. And uh, this gentleman just tried to show Mr. Sanchez a little bit about the dangers of fluoride so that he can make a, an informed decision. And Mr. Sanchez uh, basically told him to kick rocks. Um, he doesn't read his emails. Right behind that email, you'll see uh, a little graph about representation here in California and how underrepresented we are. And that email is just a perfect example of how underrepresented we are here in California. So, as an underrepresented citizen of this city, I'm asking you guys to please make the right decision and do not put fluoride in Sassoon's water. Thank you. because of the chemicals you're putting in the water. I work too long in a state hospital. I can tell you it's wrong. So please, when you reconsider, the money isn't worth it that you're getting paid to destroy it. I see seal up there, Thank not you. even paying attention. Thank you, Ms. Dudley. Thank you. Our next speaker is uh, Michael W. All right, let me see here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the board, um, uh, Michael W., public citizen. Public citizen, it's as far as you need. Can you stay where you live? In Solano County. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I'm, I, I've just been brought to, this has been brought to my attention that uh, there's sort of the move to put fluoride in your water here. Um, it's concerning to me. I've done some research on it. Uh, the Harvard study, and I'm not sure if uh, uh, Mr. Gwynn has passed it out, but flat out comes out and says it's a neurotoxin. Now, I was listening to your comments a little earlier. It doesn't seem like it bothers you. And, you know, if I get to say, please have all that you're going to give me and anybody else. You can get personal, but that's okay. Oh, I, I understand that, and you can that's talk okay. as well. But right now, what's going on is, uh, well, you're going to give me two minutes, but equal protection gives me June Gadotti. Anyway, uh, this is an interesting board. I've never seen a board where you've actually fused two city councils together into one. And that's strange to me. So it seems like half the people on this council will, will be making the choice for Sassoon, and they're not even elected by the people here. So that's a problem, at least in my eyes. Another problem is, I don't know what studies you guys are running on, but the newest information says that fluoride is a neurotoxin. So you're going to be putting this into people's water. At least that seems to be the proposal. And I'm wondering if that bothers any of you. I mean, you know, you guys are going to be drinking this. You know, as somebody else said, your, your children, your grandchildren will be drinking this. The Harvard study says that there would be a standard deviation of 15 points. So that would mean that someone would ordinarily have a 100 IQ, would, chances are they would have a 93 IQ and as low as an 85 IQ just by drinking the water. That's a pretty substantial hit. And we're paying for it with citizen money. 
I mean, that kind of goes to the, you know, shocking the conscience issue. I'm bothered by this. I'm bothered by the fact that boards today seem so disconnected from the citizens that they represent, if they do in fact represent them. I think probably the biggest problem is as soon as elected at large, you just have five representatives, which is the bare minimum in the, uh, the government code to represent the citizens. You don't represent your people. You don't have minimum contacts with your people. Is this the 26,000 people in Sassoon? Have they come to the point where they realize coming here is senseless because their mayor openly tells them that he's going to ignore them? That he openly sends emails to people saying, yeah, I don't listen to your emails? I got to tell you, you got to have a better advisor than that because you shouldn't send emails out like that. That's shameful. Even if he's not living in your city, any person who's a person, a taxpayer within this community, should get a goddamn response from someone like you. You might be a better version of Pol Pot, but do it. Get back to people and take care of your citizens because you have a duty to their health and their safety, even if you don't think so. And it's not just a dollar that you get from some foreign agency that's kicking you money to stick poison. Somebody said it. It is poison. Summarize your statement. Uh, yes, I will. What it comes down to is this is a neurotoxin. The Harvard study for health and, and, and public safety says it. I don't know what standard you're relying on, but it doesn't come to that same threshold. I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. Michael. And do something about it. Because we petition you to do so. Yes, my name is Lawrence Woods, and I'm a resident of uh, Solano County. I've been a resident for over 20 some years. Uh, I'm drinking purified water. Our bodies just happen to need 85% water. Um, I'm a retired engineer. I've worked on dams, I worked on levees, I worked on water companies, I worked on PG&E where we couldn't kill anything on the site. Okay. I uh, understand a little bit about water because I worked in some of the dump sites. I helped build them. I know what uh, fluoride does. I've studied it for years. 1997, when you guys brought it up, I was here speaking on the subject, saying that why not keep the water the way it is? If I'm going to drink water, I want 100% water. I don't need fluoride. That is a nerve poison and it happened to affect more people of color than anybody else. Now, some of the gentlemen up here, I recognize some I don't. Uh, I understand that some of you guys was elected by the people to represent the people. I don't feel well. My wife told me I shouldn't come down because I don't feel well. But I came down tonight because of this subject, this very subject that we've been fighting for years. I said no fluoride in our water. And I don't, I'm not the only one. I don't think the people in this town really understand the issue of fluoride. And I'm quite sure that this time you guys really want to pass it. And the reason behind it, the people don't know because they're not really educated on it. Like I said, I've studied for many, many, many years just to see. And I want to know, and you can't answer it, and no doctor either, uh, what effect do fluoride have if I'm on medication, if I happen to take aspirin or anything else? He can't tell me. Can you tell me? Or any other medication. If I'm on medication and I'm taking fluoride, uh, drinking by no choice, but by my representatives who voted the end. Can you tell me what the side effects would be? No doubt you can't answer that question. But you are responsible because the people voted in. Like I said, I don't know all the gentlemen that's on the board tonight. But I'm speaking from my heart from based on my experience of work and my experience on studying fluoride as a poison. And if you vote for it, you're not voting for the people's rights. That's all I have to say about it. Put it on the shelf, like I said in 97. If some people want fluoride for their teeth, let them buy it on the shelf. I want water. I want 100% water, as best water as I can. I'm going to tell you something about elevation. We have a problem with elevation here because sometimes people build things where they shouldn't be built. Sometimes people vote for things that they shouldn't vote on or vote for. And this fluoride, fluoride is one. 
I'm, I'm, my voice is a little elevated because I am upset. I don't feel well, but I'm speaking on the seventh floor, right? Just burn, boils my blood. Again, we back again here, back talking about floor right again. The place would be full if the people really knew. If I went floor right, I would buy it at the store by choice to brush my teeth. I don't know what effect it would have to my brain or to my blood by forcing it to put it in the water and people don't even know what's going to really happen. You responsible for my grandkids. You responsible for my grandkids. They drinking this water. Um, before it's elevation, like I said, the lower the elevation, that's where you will find all the filth. That's where you're going to really find the floor ride. Right. What's the elevation around here? Six? Five? Very important. We're in the lowlands. So we get the most of it. Thank you. Thank you.